What's up, YouTube fam? You know what time of the week it is? It is Mud Mask Monday again, where I do a mud mask while I talk about um, whatever I happen to be going through. And so, um, today I'm going to be talking about um, like being overwhelmed and like anxiety and everything. And so that's going to be topic that I talk about today and I have I have my bonnet on today so I don't really get any into my hair and I'm gonna go ahead and just get started so let me get some out of here and my face is already fresh and clean all right so I have been getting overwhelmed really easily lately um and I guess it's because it, my anxiety is starting to just like pop up again um and I'd say some of the reasons for that is because it's the end of the semester I wanted to be graduating this semester but I kind of fell behind in my classes um so I'm gonna do one more semester to try to like redeem myself a little bit um, but this semester has just been really hard on me, really stressful, um, it was like my first semester doing like all online classes and so, um, I had to get a little bit better with like time management and I, even now I'm still struggling to do that, um, because it's like midnight when I'm recording this video, so it's technically not even Monday anymore. But, yeah, I struggled with time management a lot this semester. Um, because, like, going to classes was really nice, and it was easier to keep up with deadlines and everything. And um, I particularly miss being able to go to the library after class and, like, do homework before I go home um and so that's one thing that I definitely miss being able to do because normally after my online classes end I just immediately do something to relax I don't immediately do something to work on my assignments um and so I'm retaking like one class next semester that I was taking this semester that I didn't do so well in and I didn't want it to negatively impact my GPA so I decided to withdraw from it um so that I'll get a W grade and it won't really it won't have too bad of a negative impact but um I've also been overwhelmed because of my work um, I work as a cashier and because the holiday season has been here for the last couple of months, it's been um, kind of like more stressful because my job is constantly asking me to come in and constantly calling me and asking if I can do extra shifts and asking can I come in early and it's it's hard for me to say no sometimes just because I don't like feeling like I I let someone down um but I have to kind of work on setting boundaries and just paying more attention to myself and um not just like going to work just because I feel like I have the time to so that's been causing me to feel very overwhelmed. I think another reason why I'm overwhelmed is because I am nervous about finding a job in my field um, because I haven't had a lot of experience and I feel like that's something that they want you to have and it's kind of hard to find internships for me, um, although I have been looking but with everything going on, I haven't been able to really put in the necessary research that I would need 
for um, like finding a job such as like I haven't been able to uh, redo my resume recently or I haven't had time to do that because between classes and work and um, I haven't had time to like really look at the company and everything and um, so it's, it's just a lot um, and I'm also overwhelmed with classes um, or my classes make me feel overwhelmed because I want to apply to graduate schools right after I graduate and I'm just nervous that um, I'm just nervous that because of my lack of experience and lack of like research experience that I'm not really going to be able to like get into the graduate school that I really want. Um, I still plan on applying and I have to do like my financial aid for it and everything but it still makes me very nervous, still makes me very anxious. Um, and so, yeah, there's just a lot of things that I want to do in this next year. Um, and it's just overwhelming to think about it all. Something I've been doing um, to combat being overwhelmed is I recently started going to counseling again. And as of the recording of this video, I've had my first like intake appointment. Um, and so I'm really looking forward to that, even though I won't have another appointment for a couple of weeks. Uh, I re I'm li really looking forward to going to counseling again um, during next semester. So as I mentioned before, um, just being overwhelmed is a sign that my anxiety is coming up again. Which is not a good thing because with anxiety for me comes a lot of other unpleasant emotions such as being impatient or being frustrated and being irritated, not being able to concentrate um, like I normally would, not having motivation, just all of these negative things come with me being anxious and so I'm finally proud of myself for um, making the decision to pursue counseling again because I feel like I definitely could use it. Um, especially being that I am very empathic. Um, and so it's, I feel sometimes it's hard for just other people to understand my problems. All right, so I have the face mask all applied and I don't really think I have much to say about being overwhelmed um i know that this will eventually pass and i'll feel like myself again um but i don't really have much else to say if you saw my previous month mess monday videos um then you'll know what mask i'm using and yeah i'm gonna just like let this sit but i'm not gonna come back um because I feel like it's kind of pointless. Um, and so yeah, that's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. Um, let me know down in the comments if you experience anxiety. Um, what anxiety might look like for you. And like, let me know some tips on how you deal with it. Um... And so, yeah, thank you guys for coming to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.